Okay oh, guys, so in our last video, we'll see that uh, how to do the uh, data loading and summary checking, data cleaning, and now it's time to do the feature extraction. So as you know that uh, we are like doing the IPL winning prediction project. So in this project, we will see that how to do the feature extraction. We will to extract the uh, features like uh, uh, batsman statistics, bowler statistics on the base of the data that we have. Like we have two data sets. The first is matches, second is ball, ball by ball. So the matches data set contain the all the match information and ball by ball contain the all the information of the all the balls that are thrown from the 2008 to until now. Okay. So in the first thing that we do in the matches uh, data set to do the feature extraction, the first thing we will do as I just show you here. Okay, so let's just start with the balls data set. So in this ball by ball data set, we have like the in information of each ball by every baller it played against which batsman. And we know that uh, is it a score run, it is a six, it is a four. We know everything. Okay, so let's just build a kind of a statistical data frame out of it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to like uh, uh, group by the batter, the batsman who is like batting at the time. And then we need to count the number of balls that he faced. So as you just know that uh, he has the a column of the ball number along with the batter information. So if we just group by all the data set by batter and then count the number of balls that he faced, then we can e easily get that how many balls each batsman faced until now. Okay, so after doing that, and here is the data, batter and balls faced. Okay, so the next thing we need to know that how many innings they are in. Okay, so that we need to know that uh, they are in the two innings, inning one and inning two. Okay, so and next thing we need to know that uh, uh, how many runs he scored. And you see that all that information I get only just by doing the group by batter. Okay, so when you just do the group by batter, you just need to uh, perform mathematical operation on all other columns like uh, ball faced, ball number, innings, batsman, I just do the batsman sum and it, it can just uh, sh uh, like uh, sum up all the runs that is scored until now. And uh, then I get to know that how many zeros that that man scored on each, each, each kind of a ball. So that kind of information is also I get easily. And as you just see that there are like so many values of zeros are nan as well. Because uh, at the time batsmen scored like 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 kind of stuff. So we need to fill those kind of values by 0. So that means that that kind of a batsman does not score 0 in the whole data set. Okay, so that similar thing we have to do with the all the kind of thing we have like 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s or 6s. Okay, so we did all this kind of things here and we get our data set like this. Okay, so in, in that uh, thing, I do do the like same thing. I just like uh, first filter out my uh, data set by the batsman run that uh, what run he scored at the time. It is with four, then group by batter and then batsman run dot count. Then it count all the fours that batsman uh, score in the whole data set. Okay, so we need to, uh, so we already got these kind of columns here. So as, as you just see that we are like getting our a uh, statistical data set here okay so the next thing we, we need to go that how many times that players got out as well so it goes the uh, player out dot count and then we got the uh, out count as well and then we need to know that uh, it's batting average and strike rate the batting average can be easily uh, calculated by the how many runs he scored by how many times he got out and we can get that and batting strike rate can be easily uh, got by how many runs he scored on the ball balls he faced so in that way we easily get these two columns as well so okay so now we have all the like statistics of the batsman so now let's get the statistics of the baller so in the kind of a baller we just do one thing we just uh, group by our whole data set by the baller column as you just see that we have both columns right? like uh, header column and the baller column so now we just do the group by the baller column and after doing the group by the baller column we just do the same thing we just uh, count, count the ball numbers that balls he throw as well and then what kind of uh, uh, balls he throw and and do some kind of action like uh, it, it got out or run out or bowled or stumped 
any kind of things like that so we need to like get only these kind of uh, uh, like uh, uh, unique categories out of it and uh, after that we got to know know that how many wickets he took on those kind of balls so it got 18 wickets 2 wickets 11 and 5 and 9 so then nan means he does not take any wicket so we need to fill those nan values with zero as we did it here okay so then next thing we need to know that how many overs he played as well so we need to just do the uh, balls throughout divided by six and then we can go to the how many overs he threw as well and then we need to do the how, how many like uh, runs he give to the batsman that is run conceded okay so that thing is can be easily done that we group by by opponent and then do the batsman dot run so that if that uh, baller throws a ball and batsman score a run so that can be easily count in that uh, uh, column and then we just uh, fill that column as well with a uh, zero as well because there are like so, so many kind of uh, ballers as well who just like got only one or two opportunities in these all 2008 to now seasons as well so we need to fill with zero okay so then next thing we, if we need to know that uh, uh, we need to like just to do that one kind of extra ball runs as well or they're like wide balls no balls so all those kind of thing we need to include as well so we just include those kind of uh, uh, runs in this run conceded kind of uh, uh, column as well so I just like see this code that I just do that first I get this considered column and then read the extra type kind of column in my ball by ball data set is there and then check for these two balls wide ball or no ball and then add it into my data set and fill all the like nan nan values with zero as well okay so the next thing i do that i just need to know that uh, uh what what is the like economy rate or what is the strike rate on which the baller throws the balls that can be easily uh concluded by runs conceded over by divided by the overs it shows the economy rate and then balls throws our wicket it shows the strike rate so on which side rate it throws the ball okay so now we have all these kind of things as well so the next thing we need to know we need to know that how many matches a single player played so on that kind of data set i just like build this kind of a, a code that just go do one thing it just uh, uh, run a kind of a for loop on the balls data set and check for the id column as well and then check for the batter striker not striker and then bowler as well on the way that how many matches he played as well so it's just like a, a like a raw python code hood here that he just uh, did here so that code just uh, gave me that how many matches each player played okay so then i need to know that how many catches a player got caught as well that kind of easily thing can be called uh, caught like uh, caught or bold kind of thing as well then i just uh, got this kind of thing from this kind of a whole code that is just caught by uh fielder catches or polar catches kind of all kind of thing we need to remove those two two kind of uh, uh columns as well and they just need to know only the number of catches that he could caught as well okay so as you just as i just do all those kind of things here and uh, okay so the next thing i need to know okay so now we have like all the kind of things like batsman statistics baller statistics al along with like all other kind of uh, things we have like about the ballers about the catches and uh, about the man of the match kind of thing we have all the information we have now okay so we need to like merge all these kind of uh, uh, data frames into one and then where like uh, we see the null values we can fill them with the zero okay so after all this kind of uh, merges kind of thing then we just see that this is our final data set and this data set we have like all the kind of uh, uh, columns which are like required to check the performance of each player uh, from 2008 to until now okay so i think you guys like completely understand that uh, what we actually did in this feature extraction uh, part as well so if you guys have any kind of a question you can just ask in the comment section or in the next video we'll just do the data visualization kind of stuff and perform some kind of data analytics we need to know that uh, uh, what are the top players the top teams like what are the top statistics they have all can be done with the help of data visualization by using 
plotly library thank you guys we'll meet in the next video